campiness in this bracket remaining. And uh, it does mean that Gummy's going to have to find his way through this. We're going to Town City. Stage one, what do you think? Um, against a Sonic, uh, we're going Town and City. Yeah, that's that is crazy. Interesting that we're going your game one. Uh, you're dead. That is a zero to death. My God, <laughs> what a combo from Just Wu. He carried him all the way off stage and then the spring to intercept that oh tether attempt. Oh my God, I literally see Gummy in the player camp go, oh, okay, and then... <laughs> and now yeah. you're on a big stage against Sonic and you're down a stock. Good luck. Oh my God. Okay, that's unfortunate. So it is just going to be one of those situations that you just have to come back from this. You, and you got the comeback mechanic to help with that, right? Arsene, in theory, should be doing some... I Some think Arsene's gone, and he might be dead again. Stuff and He's dead again, Nerf! Just Wu, less than 20%, and a, less than a minute in, and he's already oh. got Gummy on his last stock. And that's the thing. He actually got Gummy to, like, 100% in that second stock, too. He was actually just winning neutral the entire time. I don't know. This Sonic is absolutely oppressing Gummy. He is just not able to play the game. He's finally going to get an advantage state, but he is not able to pick up on the back air, and therefore, just who resets again, takes stage control, goes for it, has just fail, failing himself, going for it. I mean, yeah, at this point, when you're up two stocks, why not go ahead and go for a little bit of sauce? And then I think oh. Gummy held out. It's like, okay, what's the what's the bands, my man? Okay. Let's let's, just let's talk for a minute. Let's let's, let's <laughs> we, think about this. Never again, right? Not that we're not going to town again. That's we're, for we're not going to town, and even sure. if we do go to town, don't lose your first stock to Sonic in under 20 seconds. I know. It's the spring. It literally was like a, a good awareness of, of the the tether recovery uh, of Joker, right? That kind of like steeper angle. Um, it just means that he is recognizing where Gummy's got to be in order to get those tethers and where he's going to be after the tethers as well. It's the lingering hitbox of that falling spring. Gummy, what option is this? A me sword fighter. I don't know that I've ever seen Gummy okay. play this character. Okay, I mean, I actually have. I actually have early, I think, when he moved to this region. Um, I think I saw a little bit of the Mii Sword Fighter. He did not uh, really keep it. I think it was one of those uh, matchups that we actually had a couple in our region. We know how to deal with this uh, somewhat. And this is arguably the worst character in the game. Uh, I, I think Ganondorf is, is a little bit worse than this one, but it is it is bad. Like, this is not a character that can really oppress you with frame data. It has to go ahead and keep you out. The problem is that once the zoning game collapses, the frame data is just not there. Yeah, for sure. And it's a very patterned play. I mean, you got to rely on the same tools that you uh, you know and love. Uh, right now, we are getting a little bit of a call out with the grounded up. I do like that. That's a little bit of a different stuff, right? Sometimes you see hero spin, sometimes you don't. Also, we typically don't see um, the, the side B, too. Usually we see the reflector, but then we've got that little charge right there. That's true, that's true. Okay, we are going to get at least some of this tornado stuff you're trying to set up, and that's the problem, right? Just who uh, has a lot of tools to get around these uh, very linear projectiles. I mean, a lot of those tools are just Sonic's mobility and then the invuln yep. on the side B. It just feels as though yep. Sonic is... He doesn't really have to be in the spot that those projectiles can cover. The angles are relatively linear. Right. And like you said, if you don't have an option to just cover the dynamic movement that Sonic can offer, then how do you actually catch this character and pin him down? Yeah, you really don't. And right now, trying to catch it with, like, a fair. I, I like that. We're trying to catch something else. But no, it's another up B. And uh, Just who actually overextends a little bit. Gummy is able to pick that one up. And now Just Wu swinging for the fences does get something here, but it's not the home run he's looking for. It's still going to get the stock, though. Yeah, that recovery option, not necessarily the best. It, it just feels as though if you want to go ahead and have the up that can swing, it just can't come back ever. Ac yeah, absolutely. And now Gummy's pressing buttons. Just Wu's charging the homing attack, just waiting for the right opportunity. He's going to get it, and he's looking for even more here. These are just trades. They're clanks. They're not even trades. He's not taking damage. It's just a check. Wu can just keep doing this. I love that. It's a little check. He tosses out the discus. It stops the homing attack in place, and then you go ahead and toss out the side B to charge him down. Yeah. I, I really like that option. That's, that's a cute little tool right there from Gummy, but I think Just Wu is definitely going to learn and adapt to that relatively quickly. Right, because it's like all these things, they work once. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they work twice, but usually they work once. And Gummy, this is the thing. Gummy is a, a, a good player. He's able to, like, do a lot of things with, like, the characters that have a little bit more, like, variety. And seeing here, I mean, he's able to do something with the Mii Sword Fighter. I'm actually... I'm, ah, you talk actually, about how it works once. Like, that tornado right there is such a, actually just a good projectile. Yeah. Like, Sonic can definitely jump over it because it's slow moving. You can wait it out. But, good God, if you get caught by that, it is such an easy kill. And you saw how early it finishes it off the stock, too. Ooh. Okay, we are going to get the late hit of the Nair, and that actually does uh, offer a little bit of uh, variety. That's, what I, that's the mix-up that I wanted to see from Gummy, because I know he's a mix-up player. And we got to see it here. No Trump, though. I was expecting Just Wu to go for like a Trump or something right there. He's just, I'm not sure what he's threatening. 
It felt like it was neutral air back air is what he was going for oh, like, yeah, time yeah, and time yeah. again. Right, he was trying right. to get that set up. At high percentages, Sonic doesn't really have a ton of them. So this is definitely straight hit percentages, and this is where Sonic could struggle. So we have to see just will actually connect something like a back air or even an up smash at this percent. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, Gummy's Gummy, not giving it up. I Gummy, love this. Gummy is smart. Gummy's smart. He's not gonna. He's not gonna like just uh, go in crazy. He's still gonna look for that stage control though when he loses it, and that's gonna be a back throw. Unfortunately, not. No, okay, this might do it. Yep, another spring going again. Oh, oh, he missed. I mean, good height there from Gummy. He's still getting caught by these things. The down tilt is going to be devastating. Right now, he's going to get another one of those situations, but he's able to muscle through that. The spring, not an issue in this matchup. 205%, by the way. Yeah. Like, this is, there, there's rage, and then there's, I'm at 200%, please kill me. This is definitely one of those where all of the moves are stale here for Gummy. He can start looking for some nonsense, though. Jeez. The up air, not quite going to kill, but very close. Just who definitely has to be on notice right here. Like, how do you clean the stock up, Nerd? Like, what do you have to do with Sonic? Uh, Die, I guess. I don't know. I mean, almost catches that Chakram, too, and looking for a Trump opportunity, and it's a catch on the jump. Wow, okay. Uh, Gummy with the mean sword fighter. Now, I mean, nerd? okay. What? What? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't exactly know what happened. I've been proven wrong. I feel like... I will say that. Gummy... He won by doing nothing, not by like, it wasn't that he's like- He won by playing neutral. He, he won by hitting no buttons and wait, giving Just Wu just enough space With where he wants yeah. to run in. Like that's, it felt like that entire time, Just Wu built up some momentum at that point. He was able to kill, but as soon as Just Wu had that stock lead where he got the tornado up air, Just Wu was out of options. He just ran in. Mm. That makes sense. Honestly, yeah. It, it felt like it was death by a thousand cuts, like literally, because I mean, you were just getting uh, neutral interaction after neutral interaction, and just what I think just got lost in the sauce. Just tried too hard uh, to like outmaneuver, and you have to be like super, super careful, especially with me, Sword Fighter, because it's like a lot of this stuff is like, yeah, if you get hit by it, there's a follow up, but I mean, there's a lot of ways in theory for Sonic to not get hit by it. I, I feel like we're also seeing perhaps one of the weaknesses here in uh, in Just Who's playstyle. He doesn't seem to have the stray hits. Like, when it comes down to that point where it's like Stray Hit City, where you just have to go ahead and hit a back air or an up smash or something like that, we haven't really seen Just Who get that. Oh. Out of advantage, he's got, like, great options, but... I, I don't know. There's a lot of dash attack coming out from Just Who. Like, a lot of dash attack. And an I, I'm one. thinking it's gonna, it's not gonna help him at I, all. He's rolling in, he's getting caught by that, and that's the textbook... the textbook DI on that that you're looking for. Gummy is going to be able to find that nice pickup off the tornado. This is looking uh, a little bit more dire than I expected for Just Wu. The Gummy, me sword fighter? Gummy is using the chakrams to eliminate the side B approaches. He cannot, or excuse me, Just Wu can no longer rely on approaching with spin dash. So because of that, he has to have something else, and right now he just has no answers. Maybe this is the this is the true counter pick. I never would have expected this. The sword fighter beat Sonic nerf. Is that I, what we're saying? Can I put you on record for that? I, I mean, I I will wait till the end of the set. I will reserve <laughs> judgment. We still got another couple games to go, uh, and this one it could go either way. Still, I mean, just Wu, if he is able to find that that stray hit that you were talking about, like I'm looking for the back air, looking for the up smash. He's getting something here, but even the uh, the da like the spin dashes when he does connect them, they're not getting him like the forward air follow ups that he needs too. Right? It's like even when he does find the few and far between connections that he's looking for, he's just not finding the follow-up. Where is it? And then we're also seeing Gummy really be aggressive with his recovery options. He is swinging back onto stage constantly. Ooh. Great call to the spot still? dodge, but yeah. Still, indeed. And goes running off of the forward air, but again, an aggressive upbeat getting Gummy back onto stage and just move back to neutral. How do you kill a neutral? You just don't. Getting snuffed out by Gummy's charge right there with the side B. And it's not just pressing buttons, but it's also, well, he's not pressing buttons, just going for, like, dash in, dash out. Gummy is going for the, mo like, mobility option. He knows he's going to stay grounded. A lot of the times, just was just been frozen on the ground and waiting for something to happen. Has to go ahead and make these edge guards happen, but not getting it again. Instead, getting combo with the tornado into the up air. Solid damage here on this dog. This is starting to fade away. I feel like we are one tornado up air away from the kill here. Gonna get the back throw, but no yeah. pummels even nerfed. So that is definitely not gonna kill. And the maneuverability, getting around the spring, making it a non-issue, trying to bait and switch, fake out, even then. Like, come on now! Gummy has got to have, like, some insane DI, or just who is literally picking every option that will not kill at the time. 
He's going to be able to get an up B, but now this is a re-grab, so you will get picked up by that tornado. Great standard get up, though, and does get the forward tilt. So we have one stock, one dream right here. You just cannot get clipped with a lot of these odd combo starters yep. this character has. I know, and right now getting caught again on these, like, the Nairs, the, the Chakrams, all of them stopping approaches. Cannot get off the ledge here, but hey, we take a trade, and now, okay, we're getting a little bit more damage. This is looking better, but, I mean, Again, the get off me tool, it seems like it was a nice option for the time. And then the aggressive side beat directly onto shield. That was Jeez. That was an awkward match. I mean, it feels as though this is this is a character in Sonic that has every tool that you could ask for. And this is a character in Me Sword Fighter that really doesn't have much. Yeah. This is this is the rich versus the poor, and this is the poor rise up. Honestly, yes. This, this is, is we, uh, we are we are the ninety percent right here, Nerf. This is the pitchfork character. <laughs> uh, this is the pitchfork character. He's looking for something else. I mean, honestly, could be the guillotine if anything. Um, we need to figure out what the answer is from just because I, I I will recognize it. Like maybe it's a character thing, but also just who is kind of you could saw him the gears turning in that sec in that like second me sword fighter game where he's like, okay, I'm starting to gain some ground towards the end. He was getting some kills, um, and I think that's giving him uh, the potential uh, to potentially make this a lot more even, I think. But we'll have to see. Time will tell. Perhaps it's going to be that... I, I feel like the Chakram is like the secret weapon here for Gummy because Just Wu, his approach game has just looked a little bit lackluster here whenever he can't just immediately spin dash through everything. And here's the thing. Now we're seeing a lot less spin dash, and it's working. Right, he's getting in with the other homing tools. Now. Yeah, the other tools that are working a lot better because he can hang on to homing tool, uh, homing attack rather, and he's able to just wait until Gummy does throw a button. It's like game one, you called out that we were seeing a little bit too much dash attack there from Just Ruby. We found out the dash attack. Could I use this to approach? Oh, no, I can't. Can I use. Spin dash. Spin dash to approach? No. No. Getting intercepted. Yeah. Exactly. So it's, it's just now we have to see here. Plan if, C. Yeah, exactly. What is plan C? Plan C is getting in with a, a couple jumps and, and dashes. It looks like he is staying grounded, but he's also using the platforms, I think, effectively, knowing that that Chakram can only go one direction. Um, and you got to go up and around. And then you seem to find that Gummy, uh, once you get into that zone, you break that zone. He doesn't uh, know the DI. He doesn't know that that is a DI check 100%. Yeah, you yeah, should yeah. not be dying in that spot. Yeah, you're right. That's definitely a character matchup thing. It's one of those where it kills super early if you hold in, but if you hold out, oh, then you may not necessarily get the sweet spot of the up air, or even if you do, you will not die to it. Right. Okay, still, quick spot dodge means that Gummy is uh, pressing buttons, but he knows that Just Wu is eager to get that uh, get that turn uh, to be taken. Yeah, definitely needs to go ahead and turn the corner if we want to see this match last any longer right here, because I feel like the longer it goes in this kind of a spot where you're trading like one to one in neutral, the harder it gets for Just Wu. Mm. Yeah, and still, I think homing attack has been uh, a huge benefit, but we are losing ground, and every minute that you uh, sit on the second stock without taking the first one from Gummy uh, is more extra credit. Gummy is going to be able to pick up, and that's going to. Uh, it's going to hurt. That bounced up. Oh my god, this character is so weird. I know. Oh, wow, okay. That's a sick catch, actually, by Just Wu. It, 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 he got popped out of the, the side B a little bit earlier than you'd think, and it actually right. connected with an up air for some reason. It's one of those things where, hey, the multi-hit didn't work, but this time it's a good reason. Yeah, I guess so. It's like somehow the reaction's been working for uh, for Just Wu. He's able to, uh, to still find the conversions. Very nice little custom stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but that means Gummy might have had a little bit of weird DI on that, too. So, this is looking even, even-ish. Definitely. I mean, I, I, it's one of those where, yeah, Just Wu could get killed by something, but I feel like he has to make a big mistake to actually die this kind of percent. Mm. Like, a lot of the Me Sword Fighter stuff does not kill Raw, unless it's a smash attack. Oh, okay. Ooh, nice. Good stuff. The shield discipline holding all the way through that, letting Gummy finish the attack this time and actually going for the right spacing on the forward smash. And Very look nice. at the response, too. Now 43% using that bumper to just burn all of the invuln, too. That's right. Okay, going down and then low. I like that. 
dash in, dash out here, using that Sonic initial dash speed to just force Gummy to attack. And the immediate tech and the immediate aggressive option. Ooh. I love that. Just Gummy coming out of disadvantage, swing. And he recognized that he was able to do that at lower percents. Uh, you, if you DI down, you'll go straight into the stage, allowing yourself uh, the the opportunity to tech, and a lot of times uh, you can actually act faster than the Sonic is ready for. All right, one of these edge guards could lead to something. We're aiming up, expecting a jump from ledge this time. It's not going to happen. Gummy is uh, steadfast so far. I love Gummy trying to punish off of a parry and just finding absolutely no options. Like, most characters have that opportunity here, but I'm just like, what the heck do you actually do with, with me, Sword Fighter, when Sonic just pops That's off true. your shield? Uh-oh. Okay, we're getting a little bit more tense here because this is a lot more close. Don't get hit with the second up here. Please, dear God, just move. Okay, he's got to find that. No, okay, I was expecting the up smash, but he opts for uh, a read on a potential air dodge back in. Uh, it's not going to happen. Gummy is still looking for this, and he's so close to connection, too. Oh no, he edge trapped himself! Just Wu putting himself in an awkward spot here. Does manage to survive. Not gonna get too framed by the tornado and the get up attack. Gets full stage control back. Okay, we're good. Awkward spot with that down there though. Like that was definitely one of those places where Do it again. The Smash 4. Yeah, all right. Oh wait, but this could be good. He's gonna have to hit that. He gets around the spring yet again. Has been a uh, a non-issue this entire set. Gummy is still Side B? I was waiting for Side B. Okay, no. Cross up back here. Are we going off stage here? Or are we going to go ahead and ledge trap? One Looks like a ledge, but look at him. He ran all the way back to center stage. That is not how you he's ledge trap. Up, yeah. yeah, he's giving up a, uh, stage control so willingly, but this time he baits out a side B from Gummy. And I knew it was a matter of time. Gummy had been going for a couple of those as like the big punish. Still, I think at that percent, you don't need it. So while you were on commentary, I actually saw, like, I was playing a few friendlies with African Batman, the one okay, of the casters yeah. here today, and he literally, like, chewed Just Wu Ao for not ledge trapping. He said, you got to stop running off stage, giving up full stage control, and trying to kill them off stage That's every true. single stock. That's and so we're kind of seeing a little bit of that right That's there. So like, true. that last moment where he, he made, might have come up on top, but he used his dash to get all the way back to center stage. It's like, I have one forward tilt, and then we're out. Yeah. Like, he does not keep up that pressure right there. And so far, Gummy has been, like, using that to just get back to center stage and start to his project game up and running. Yeah, you can tell which one of the two has like the magnet strapped to their like chest to bring them back to center stage. And Gummy is the one who's like looking for that that centrality. Just who he just seems to be not planting the flag. You're giving it up. So let's see if Hollow Bastion is going to be the answer. He's got to uh, he's got to make one final change here in order to keep this going. And on Hollow Bastion, I, I dig it. I already see why. Look at that up air and the up tilt underneath that platform. That is going to make things very miserable for Just Wu if he finds himself getting hit by these straight projectiles. On the other side, though, broad platform, tons of room for Sonic to run. That's true. Okay. Forcing the air dodge, but no follow up. Again, it's just like Just Wu has a couple of these opportunities where you can extend, you can convert. Uh, and I think it's just maybe, maybe it's nerves, maybe it's something else. A lack of confidence, perhaps. And he's just not not going for some of these uh, swinging options. You got to. Finally getting that down throw up air again in that spot. That one looked true, actually, in that position. So now, solid damage right here. 23 out of that up B? Yeah. Good god. That's one thing this character has, is damage from every single hit. Like, it seems like it deals quite a bit. Right. And now looking for another edge guard. You can see, there it is. Gummy is still stuck in center stage, but he gets right back as soon as he looks like he wants to uh, give it up. He is quick to regain. The right. jab, jab, and to roll through? I think I thought Joshua was cooking for a split second, but immediately choosing a defensive option out of there. I don't know if that's yeah. the one you want. Uh-oh, but this is the good point. You can start your edge guard now. Try again for oh, the second time. Try. We're getting it now. That's what you're looking for, and that's why we go to Hall of Bastion, too. I mean, obviously, it's... You know, it's a different stage kind of pick, but it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're able to carry them all the way off the top with that side B, and there's no platforms to interrupt it and nowhere for them to go. Mm. Air dodge already been used by Just Wu. The weak hit and neutral air bailing him out in that spot. But look at Gummy standing strong, directing the center of that circle. Yep, and looking for more pressure there, expecting a roll in, but still getting something on the, drill, uh, the drop of shield. Nice little room. coverage. Beautiful trap there, uh, able to use the, the low knockback of that chakram to set up for something like that. 
And that that feels like that tornado has like set knockback because even at 14, it felt like Just Boo was stuck in that for a long time. Mm -hmm. No double jump, I think, here. Had the opportunity to get the intercept with the back here, but unable to do so. That up be just disjointed enough. Oh, geez. Yeah, Gummy just trying to use every option to get Just Wu away from him. Uh, wants to widen the gap again so he can use these projectiles to their full use. However, I mean, this big platform, I think, <laughs> allows Just Wu to get the mobility. Hopefully, it allows him to, uh, to get over and around this stuff. I'm He's sorry. I'm losing it from Gummy just doing this, like, fastball forward air, down tilt, fastball forward here, down tilt, down tilt. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to run in and get hit by this? Exactly. Oh. Okay. Gotta get... Gotta get back. I've been impressed by the standard getups, though, from Just Wu, recognizing that he's not really getting caught by these projectiles at edge too frequently. Just the one loss in the chalk ring. Uh-oh. Falls out of the up air, but actually sets up for a potential kill here. Now, okay, had something, but the beefy up B allows him to get something to cover himself. And Gummy still staying alive again. How many times has he stayed alive past 140, 150? And then the aggressive forward air off of ledge. That looked like a stock, actually. Yeah, it was. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Conceal, get back. Forward air going to go ahead and get full stage control here. Just who has to clean the stock off. Cannot allow Gummy to live any longer. But just seems like he's out of ideas. He just stood there and looked at Gummy mid-distance, not trying to toss out any options at all. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. attack and a miss, and that is the stock forward smash. Reel back, and the Mia Sword Fighter with a reverse 3-0. Ouch. Never thought I'd see the day. Ouch. Um, that's really unfortunate. So, uh, me Sword Fighter making a comeback in, Question mark? in my region? Yeah, God, that is um, not. That is an interesting character. We, we don't typically see that one too frequently. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. I guess. Um, Moving on. Back so, to our regularly scheduled programming. I mean, maybe, but... Now that he's won, do you think he's going to play me Sword Fighter in the if, next one? If this man subjects us to me Sword Fighter versus me Brawler, I'm going to have words with him. Better.